This is the Red Magic 7, the first real gaming smartphone of 2022, and one that's packing a lot of beefy specs. Now, not only did Red Magic send one of these units out to us early and sponsor today's video, but they sent us a few extras. Details on how you can get your chance at winning one of these coming up later in this video. But for now, let's take a look at what's inside the box, where we get our paperwork and an included case, the phone itself. And then I love to see this, a 65 watt fast charger. But of course, the star of the show is the Red Magic 7 itself. And on this supernova variant that we have here, the back glass is partially transparent, where underneath you get badges for things like the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, and then a window for the RGB mini fan. That's right, this phone has a little fan to help cool it down. So just like last year's Red Magic success, you have an intake on this side and then an exhaust on the other side where the air blows out. But this year, Red Magic added an extra vent here in the back, which they say increases the air volume by 35% to help keep things even cooler. And they also made it so it isn't as loud when it's running. But you may be wondering, why would anybody want all this cooling on a smartphone? And the truth is, for regular smartphone use, you really don't need it. But this is a gaming phone. And when you're gaming for hours and hours on end, you don't wanna have your screen get dim on you when it starts to get hot. A lot of phones do that. And you definitely don't want dropped frames and performance if the phone thermal throttles. We did some testing and this phone doesn't have any of those issues. Running games like Genshin Impact got us a constant FPS and games like Call of Duty just ran buttery smooth. Now to really push things to the limit though, we also ran the intensive 3D Mark Wildlife Extreme Benchmark where it goes through 20 loops of simulated 4K gameplay, where the Red Magic actually did a better job than the iPhone, at least on average, while the iPhone had a higher score on the first loop before it immediately started throttling down. So if you can run that benchmark consistently, it's gonna have no issues with the current games on the market, especially since this is running on the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, which got a big boost in the GPU, with just an absurd 18 gigabytes of RAM on this particular variant, which, hey, it's overkill, but it's nice to have, just like the display on this thing, which has a 165 hertz refresh rate. That's the highest I've ever used on a phone. And while most games don't support 165 hertz outside of a handful, Again, it's something that's nice to have. Now, I personally can't see the difference between 120 hertz and 165 hertz with my eyes, but there is clearly a difference as evidenced here in slow-mo. And you know, while I can't see it, it is one of those things that I can kind of sort of feel, especially in combination with the 720 hertz touch sampling rate. But you know, to me, the biggest thing that makes this phone the ultimate gaming phone is in addition to the cooling and the display, it has these shoulder triggers where you can actually map them to simulate any button press on the screen while you're in a game. So what I did in Call of Duty is I made the buttons for scope and trigger super small, and then I put them off to the side. And then I mapped the left shoulder to scope and the right to trigger, which not only gets those buttons out of the way, but it also makes gaming on this phone feel more like you're holding a controller. It's easily my favorite phone to play games on right now, mainly because I just play better having the advantage of these shoulder triggers. Now what's cool is when you toggle the switch on the side here, it pops you into Red Magic's game space, where you can quickly jump into games from your library. It enables special features like being able to see how fast the CPU and the GPU are running. You can change the refresh rate on the fly and you can even enable performance monitoring so you can see your FPS in real time. So basically everything you would want while you're gaming. Now, in terms of the rest of the phone, you have a triple camera system on the back, which is just okay. It's not the best camera phone in the world since the primary focus here is on gaming. You've got a headphone jack up top in case you're not about that dongle life. You get dual speakers and a 4,500 milliamp hour battery. Now, with normal smartphone use, 4,500 milliamp hours is more than enough, but when you're gaming with that 165 hertz display and the minivan, the battery can drain pretty quickly. I would have liked to see a bigger battery in here, although Red Magic kind of makes up for it with the included fast charger, which is incredibly quick. Just three minutes plugged in got us over a 10% charge and a little over 20 minutes got us up to 90%. And if you don't wanna deal with the battery at all, the phone also has this charge separation feature where 
where you can actually bypass charging the battery altogether and just leave your phone plugged in and run off the wall power directly, which is not only good for long-term battery health since you're not constantly charging it, but since the battery isn't getting charged, the phone also doesn't get hot. It's a pretty cool feature. Last few things worth mentioning is you've got an optical fingerprint scanner that's nice and fast. You have a very gaming themed UI running atop Android 12. And no, I didn't forget, if you want your chance at winning one of these five units, we have them in different color variations. Just follow us on Twitter for the giveaway. I'll drop a link to Red Magic's site down below in the description, as well as our Twitter link. Big thanks again to Red Magic for sponsoring today's video. And as always, I'll see you in the very next episode.